Okay, David Risley here with another blog evaluation, this time for BertChiropractic.com. So I assume, uh, I see Dr. Edward Burt, you are a, uh, a accident and injury specialist, and he sent in this blog to be checked out. So the first thing that I have here I wanted to leave on screen is your uh, pop-up domination plugin. Um, and it says Burt Chiropractic Health Magazine. Now, I'm not saying that what you have here is bad, but I do want to make mention of the fact that you do have a few uh, grammatical issues here on your form. Um, if we look down here under these uh, four things, they're a little grammatically incorrect. Reveals the secrets about how to stay healthy. Reveals the secrets how to maximize injury recovery. There should be like the word two right in there or something. Reveals the secrets how to prevent future injury. I mean, it's a little bit, uh, A, the, the, it's a little too vague actually as far as a call to action. You're kind of like giving them like, I don't want to say too much. It's more like you're trying to cover everybody without it being that specific on what you're giving them. But there's also grammatical errors in there and you need to pay attention to that. And then the next one is where it says 90 pages e-magazine reveals blah blah blah. Again, that's not, I, that's bad grammar. So go fix that. That's that's something that, that makes you look unprofessional when you're when you got grammar errors like that. The other thing to pay attention to is uh, is that you should give a more concrete call to action here. You're, right now you're trying to cover everybody and you're focusing on features by saying completely free, nothing to buy. I mean, uh, I don't know, that just doesn't give across a very good vibe when this thing hits me the moment I get here and you're, and you're trying to, you know, bribe me into getting it by saying it's completely free, nothing to buy. Uh, I think instead a more compelling offer would be something where you're helping them solve some type of a compelling problem, which as a chiropractor you're probably not going to have any difficult time with that one. But the thing is, when you sell it with your ad copy here, and when I say sell, obviously I understand, you know, not money, it's just a matter of mentally selling it to them so they actually want what you're giving them, is it needs to be more compelling. And what I usually say is to turn some of the key points that are inside what you're giving them and twist it into a, a question or a statement that is designed to spike their curiosity. Um, make them wonder what the answer is and what you're going to tell them and that's going to draw them into the opt-in. So I don't know what you're talking about in here, uh, but if you could find some key points in there that maybe uh, might be a little bit counterintuitive, something that, that gets their attention in a, in a good way and use those as your bullet points and that might to get them to get the opt-in or be more willing to get the opt-in. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that and uh, we'll just do a quick review of your site. Um, overall, looks quite nice. I see we got the nice big image here of your giveaway, which is great. Uh, I think one thing you might want to do is, is that copy that I was just telling you about to really entice them to want it. I would include that right here and maybe if you need to make room, just shrink this image a little bit. Um, just as a little side note, I'm also not really sure why you've got social media buttons on the cover of this thing when it's a health magazine. So you might want to look into your branding. I don't know if you were trying to use some template here and you just threw a, your title on there when it really doesn't fit, but that doesn't really go. It doesn't really represent your brand very well. So I would have somebody design a cover for you that actually uh, isn't about social media. Um, the other thing too, and I see this with a lot of business sites, is these social media links. Um, your your target clientele is very likely not going to understand what RSS is, or uh, they're not going to. They maybe want. They may want to subscribe via email, and that's fine. But the RSS, you're probably giving them a word that they don't understand, and that's not a good idea. The other thing too is with these these uh, icons. There's a very good chance that your target audience does not understand what these things are. So instead of using icons, instead focus on the ones that they are more likely to use. Chances are uh, Facebook, uh, maybe not so much Twitter. I mean, realize that Twitter is not as big of a deal in many markets as it is, say, with bloggers. And your target audience here is likely not bloggers, but I'm assuming p you're trying to get people into your practice. So Twitter may not be that big of a deal. RSS, likely very not a big deal. Uh, YouTube, maybe. The thing is, you can get people on to, to stay on your blog and still view your YouTube videos. If you go to davidrisley.com, you'll notice I have a videos section with the videos in there in like a gallery format. I'm using a plugin called TubePress. 
to do that. And I, I, I do recommend that you check that out, and that way you can keep people on your site. And again, LinkedIn, uh, probably, uh, the, you know, you, you got to consider whether your target audience is really going to be using that or not. Uh, the other thing, too, is you have all this stuff here, as well as your Facebook thing, and you have that above your opt-in. I, I personally think that your opt-in should be a lot more visible because that that's ultimately a lead for you where you can follow up and try to get them into your practice. So I would uh, raise this up the sidebar and raise the social media stuff down, uh, even the stuff that you keep, because I think you should get rid of some of that social media stuff. Uh, I do like the special offer for a new patient because you're probably trying to get leads here, but it should be a lot more in your face and noticeable. Um, I like the fact that it's at the top of your sidebar, but you know, make that a bigger deal. Um, your blog content looks good. Um, it's a lot of good health stuff on here, and you are getting some tweets, you are getting some likes, so that's good. Uh, yeah, high fructose corn syrup, bad stuff. Um, about our practice, let's see what you got in here. Okay, very good. You got a picture of yourself, that's good. Welcome to Burt Chiropractic. What does this do? Hello, I would like to introduce to you Dr. Edward Burt. Dr. Edward Burt was born in the southwest of Ukraine. He has moved to the United States with his family in the summer of 1992. Okay, so I'm going to stop that. Now this is it, this is cute, but I'm not sure if this is the brand that you want to portray. Maybe it is. I don't really know anything about your practice, but th this looks to me like Larry King and Sarah Palin here. That brings us into you know potential politics things. It looks almost like a gag, and it it, it instead it should be you on that video and uh, and get them to where they know, like, and trust you. You're building. You're trying to build a bond with potential. Uh, patients to bring them in to see you and not to bring in a, a you know basically what's a moving cartoon here you know of Larry King and Sarah Palin so definitely keep that in mind I think this is cute I just don't think that videos like this make for good uh, business in my personal opinion um, let's see here sports injury so I assume you're talking about your practice and the stuff that you do so this is all good. Now the the other thing I'll just leave the video with this is to um, is a quick note about the fact that if your primary goal with the site is to get leads into your practice, then the site needs to be designed around that purpose. So I I, I wouldn't make them have to click on this contact button in order to contact you. Uh, it's good that you got address and email and phone and all that. You have six locations. That's all great. I think what you really need to do is make it so that you're you're maybe have one lead phone number. Uh, I don't know, something like that. Some way that you can plaster that contact information all over the site. Maybe it's up here in the header. You've got a lot of blank space up here on the right side of your top header where you can have some big. 800 number, some contact way there of them to get a hold of you without having to search for it. Um, you might want to explore doing something with regard to a referral program um, on here in order to empower people who are on your blog to maybe refer people in to see you. Uh, it gets into just some basic business stuff here that uh, is a little beyond the scope of this video, but I, I love your video testimonials. That's a great idea. I, I, I make bigger use of this, actually. Good use of that. Um, so hopefully I gave you a few ideas here, Bert. You didn't, or Doctor Bert. Uh, you didn't really give me any uh, specific questions. So hopefully, uh, with the advice I've given you in this video, you have a few ways forward. All right, talk to you soon.